Kuro is one of my most favorite leaders to play right now as of OP05 that is not in the meta, and here's why. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We're back with another One Piece TCG deck profile for Kuro that came out in OP03. So here's the deck list. We're going to talk about the attackers, the blockers, the 2k counters, the actions, and the utility cards. Now as always, this is a fun deck. Feel free to remove cards. Add cards in. Some cards that have three, maybe take them out to two, put them up to four, etc. I love One Piece, the card game, because you're able to make lots of different decks and it's not always set in stone. So let's go ahead and get started by talking about the leader ability. So he's a basic green card, 5,000 attack with five life. And if you want, during your main phase, you can rest three mana and then rest two of your East Blue characters to set this leader's active and then rest one of your opponent characters with a cost of five or less. This ability is really good for finishing the game. And if you have a bunch of cheap East Blue characters, you can enable this pretty easily late game. Now, with this being said, let's start and talk with the attackers of the deck. These are your bread and butters. They are going to win you the game. Starting with Sham. He's an East Blue, which enables the leader. So I'll just put Crow over here. So he's a 3 4 1. Pretty weak, but the ability is kind of nice. If your leader is East Blue, rest a character that is two or less. Which you don't have to always do that, but the second ability is probably even better. If you don't have a Bucci, you play a Bucci from your hand, which is the card we'll talk about next. So this is a decent summoner. You primarily use it for the 1k or late game. I mean, maybe they have like a really cheap blocker or a sugar or something. You can go ahead and rest it and then combo into it. So I'm running four of these guys. Here's Jin, but let's quickly go over the other guy first that combos with Bucci, right? So here is Sham. Now this, oh sorry, Bucci Sham and Bucci. This guy summons this guy. Four, five, one on play. So basically, if you are able to rest somebody, you're going to get the KO with them. If not, hey, at least you summon them for a three mana, which is pretty good. KO up to one of the rested characters that's two or less. So another East Blue, which works with Kuro. Four, five, one. So pretty cool. Rank four of these. The more you run, the easier it is for them to be more consistent. Next up is Jin. Four, five, one. So far, every character has had a 1k counter, which is kind of nice. On play, if your leader is East Blue, which it is, rest two characters with a cost of four or less. So you don't have to rest anybody, but if you do, you can move, remove, you can remove a blocker uh, from play, or you can attack just another character to knock him out. Really good character. Also East Blue, strong. Jin is a pretty good card for this, and we're running four of these. So that was a three drop two four drops now we're on a five drop Django no counter five six but he's the east blue card choose one of these when this character is summoned set up to one of your east blue leaders or characters with a cost of six or less as active so a really popular thing to do with Django is maybe super late game turn 10 you put five mana on him to make it 10,000 you attack somebody then you restand him to attack 10,000 again also, this is not just Kuro, but someone with a 6 or less. So pretty much almost everything in the rest of this deck, you'll be able to do that. Pretty good card. Or you can simply rest any character. does not matter what cost it is. So let's say they got like a 7 drop a kid and you can finish the game. They think they're safe. Rest them up, go for the swing. So etc. like that. So really, really powerful enabler. I'm running 4 of these Jangos. Next up, Krieg. Another East blue character, six drop, which also works with Django. So even better than the leader. Maybe next turn you drop this guy, then you put five on him for 12,000, and you do the same thing. You attack him, then you restand. This guy's very powerful. On play, trash one card from your hand, KO up to two rested characters that are four or less. So even combos very well with Jin, which rests exactly two four drops. This KOs two four drops. Maybe on uh, turn 10. You can drop both of those. And later on, Dawn 1, gain double attack. Extremely powerful. East Blue. East Blue works with this character as well. With his leader. However, you probably you primary you might not want to rest this guy. Uh, because he's just so strong. But yeah, even if you don't use Krieg for this deck, I highly recommend you get him. It's cheap. And uh, it's just it's so strong, it's probably gonna be used in other sort of green decks. So I'm running four of these. Next up, we're running a vanilla card. 681 Kuro East Blue 6 drop works with him works with Django very strong Black Cat Pirates boom 8000 so running a couple of these 
And then finally, the boss the, the boss card of the deck. Donkey Hito, Don Flamingo. So this is not an East Blue, but this is too good to not put in the deck. One of the strongest boss card abilities of green. 10 10 no counter on play. Up to a total of three of your opponent's rested leaders or characters may not become active in their next refresh phase. Imagine dropping this on turn on turn 10 when you can, and then or turn whatever, four or five, and then resting a leader and two attackers. They can't do anything. Then the next turn you drop another one. And then another one. If you like when you get that, it feels really, really good. Especially in a Kuro deck. So yeah, you absolutely need minimum three of these for this deck to have any sort of late game. That's what I recommend. Okay, so those are the attackers of the deck. Now, moving on to the blockers. Let's start with the weak blockers. Okay, so I'm running four of these pearl cards. Two, two, one. Basic blocker does not do anything. However, it is East Blue, so you can combo with this. I'm running four of these. Next up, the other four blockers of the deck. Captain Kids. Not East Blue, however, it's just a pretty strong card in general. 7-7, seven, seven, really good blocker. And you could use it to attack and then set it as active. So, it's a Lycan blocker if you choose to do so. Now, we're going to move on to our 2k counters. Now, this is only 8. Now, I have to say average is 10 to 12. I highly recommend adding more if you can. Maybe cut something out of here. But, you know, in general, I do have a lot of 1k counters in here. So it kind of makes up for it. But, you know, if you play this a lot, I, you know, I'm having a lot of success with the deck as it is. But, yeah, I would, I mean, you know, if I were to tweak anything, maybe remove something out for more 2k counters. But let's get started here. First, we have Ezo on play. Rest the character that costs 4 or less. Resting characters, you can combo with the Don Krieg if you need it, or simply keep her for the 2k. It is not an East Blue, but still a solid 2k counter. And the next we have Ha Chayan. 4-4, 2k counter. Very basic, not strong. It has a trigger if you choose to use it that way, which you can play this card. But once again, it's pretty weak. But it is East Blue. It's a 2k East Blue. So there we go. 4-8. Once again, not strong. Not a lot. Not a lot. But you want to bolster your defense with... Some event cards. So here are the event cards that we are running. I'm running one Punk Gibson. One, uh, so two mana for this. Your leader or one of your characters gain 4,000. Then rest another character that's four. And it's a trigger. Rest one of your opponent's characters. The trigger is very powerful. It has no restriction on the level. So that's why I put it in here. And you might be able to stop another character from attacking. Next up, I'm running two Spider Webs. Two mana. Gain 4,000, and then set one of your characters as active. Pretty powerful if you want to keep one of your characters alive after defending, right? And if it triggers, it's pretty good too. The first time you get triggered, up to 2,000 power this turn. This turn. So if it's the first time you get hit, and you can attack a couple multiple times, this will go through. So I'm running two spider webs. And then for the final events, I'm running a cat out of the bag. Costs three. And this one only works with a Kuro card, which is only why I'm running one of these. Rest another East Blue you have. So you, you rest something you have plus three mana. Then set up to one of your Kuro cards as active. So you can do this Kuro, or you can do the six drop Kuro that's 8,000. So best case scenario, the eight, uh, the, the, the seven drop, uh, the six drop with 8,000. If this is three, then you're gonna, be, you're gonna be putting seven on the 6,000, right? So you get 13,000 to attack twice. That's the best case scenario to use with this card. Uh, the trigger is not that great. It's whatever. It, it's not going to happen a lot. But yeah, I'm only running run, but you might run and run too. Depends on your play style. And then finally, the utility of the deck. I'm running four Nami Searchers. These are the only searchers for East Blue cards. And it's pretty good. Two, two, one. So it's like, it's, a, it's not the cheapest searcher, but you always want to go second. I say always go second with Kuro so you can search away, right? Look at five cards, get an East Blue. And then put the rest at the bottom of your deck. But what's really powerful about this is the trigger. I've triggered this so many times. I'm very always happy to see it. So, yeah, pretty good. So, that is the deck. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I think the strengths of this deck is mid to late game. Very powerful. Early game, you're, you're kind of setting up. You might be able to drop a pearl. And uh, hopefully, you can get Sham and Bucci out if you're able to do so. But other than that, you're swinging. You're swinging. You're restanding. You are resting characters. And then late game... 
feels bad, man, Don Flamingo. However, super, super weak. No way to search Don Flamingos. No way to search them. If you end up playing Nami, you might as well end up, uh, you know, discarding a bunch of these. So, yeah. You're going to have a good time only if you find these. <laughs> if you don't, it's kind of bad. But, yeah, otherwise, uh, you know, get lucky, I guess. It's, it's a fun deck. It's a very fun deck to play. That's not in the current meta. And I think it just does well. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, remove add stuff. Multiple different ones. Three, four... You know, one, two, three, four. Move them around. Just have fun. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think or would change. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.